My name is Robin Grain. I am a certified divorce mediator, a certified divorce financial analyst, a former divorce attorney, and a divorce mom of two well-adjusted adult children. One of the primary reasons that I see that makes divorces seem to drag out forever, forever, get all crazy and expensive, is a fear of poverty. It is true that oftentimes when people get divorced, there's barely enough money to go around, but I got to tell you, those are not the cases that I see that get stalled as a result of the fear of poverty. When people are freaked out about not having enough money, nine times out of 10 in my experience, it is the wealthier people who are used to not having to think about money and now maybe they do. If you have a $1 million estate and now you each have half a million dollars, those are the people that lose their minds over fear of poverty. We drill down in mediation, are you going to be okay? And if you're not, how are we going to get you more income? How are we going to save on expenses? If the divorce is coming down the road, whether you're scared about not having the same financial resources you had before or not, we got to figure it out, not stall and spend money on litigation. The number two reason for why divorces get stalled and you end up in heavy litigation and spending money and craziness and all that kind of stuff is because one of the parties is freaked out about having to do it alone. It is a lot to be single. I know, I've been single for years. You have to make all your money. You have to manage your money. You have to manage your household. Sometimes you're pretty much raising the kids on your own. If you have a home, you gotta do the yard work. Sometimes you gotta take care of your own parents. It's a lot to be on your own. But I'll tell you, one of the beautiful things is you do not have to ask anybody else permission to do anything. You no longer are operating by committee. If you want to buy the life insurance policy, if you want to buy the shrub for your yard, it's just you. So though you have more tasks, your life is in many ways simpler. The number three reason that I see people kind of dragging their feet on the, getting a divorce or settling their divorce, even though they know they don't have a choice because maybe the other person's made that decision for them, is just a generalized fear of change. Listen, we all have it. Everybody has a fear of change. Some of us work through it better than others. Some of us, it paralyzes us. But the most successful people, meaning happy people, people with good relationships, people that are able to make a living, are people that allow for change to happen in their lives and go through it gracefully and don't fight the change because change is going to happen. It happens to all of us and a good mediator or a good lawyer or a good therapist, whoever you're working with at the early stages in your divorce is going to help you understand that and recognize that change is part of life and you can roll with it. A fourth matter that kind of freaks people out when they're getting divorced is they're gonna ruin their children. If you have kids and you are concerned that the divorce is gonna be the demise of their happy childhood, that is not true. Many children grow up in divorced homes and are happy, they're healthy, and have that ultimate part of their life that makes life worth living, which is good relationships with other people. If you role model for your children the type of person that you would like them to be, in other words, you be the best person that you can be, your kids are gonna be fine. Even if the other parent is not the greatest person in the world as a role model, usually they have something to offer but by you being in control of what you can be in control of, being the best person that you can be, creating wonderful memories for your children, showing them that 
the world is not going to crush you by things that happen to you, that you are in charge of your reaction to those things, your kids are going to be fine, I promise. The fifth issue that I notice really holds people up in their divorce mediations, and it's really sad for me to watch, and but that is a, a, a fear of being lonely. People are afraid that if they're alone, they're going to be lonely. First of all, when you get divorced, you don't have to be lonely. There are many ways to meet people. There are organizations that you can join. You can reach out to old friends. You can lean on family members. Um, you can get a dog and, and, and enjoy the, the, the love of, a, of an animal, which is not a small thing, for the time being until maybe you make new friends. So I submit that if you were in a marriage bad enough that somebody wants to divorce you or you feel you need to divorce them, you were lonely anyway. You had a person in the house with you, but that wasn't a relationship that you're going to want to repeat. Better to move on. Thank you so much for watching this video. and. If you are experiencing any of these five matters that are slowing down your settlement, give me a call. I not only mediate, I also do coaching for people going through divorce. I'm happy to help. Focus on your settlement. When you're going through a divorce, you need to focus on, if you have kids, custody and child support. If you don't, alimony if you need support. And everybody needs to really hone in on how they're gonna divide up their assets and their debt. All of these other things that are holding you up are better off you doing on your own, not part of the divorce process. Get some therapy if you need it, talk to a friend, or call me, I'm happy to help. Mm -hmm.